red sienna, emerald green, ivory black, phthalo blue, lizard crimson, titanium white, cad yellow light, Indian yellow, yellow ochre, naphthol red. Again, probably won't use yellows too much, but you never know. Sometimes you just go crazy with those. All right, where's the horizon? I think horizon's right in here. You wanna do a big sky maybe? Sure. Nice crooked horizon, that's good. <laughs> Don't know how to use the card, but that's fine. Barn over here. Excuse me. That's straight, yeah. A little too, too much there. Okay. There's our barn. Maybe I have a big old longhorn over here. I don't really know what longhorns look like, other than having a big longhorns. <laughs> Something like that. There we go. <laughs> There's our sketch. This is our Texas painting. Shadow Nick's here. Hi, all time to be creative. Hello, Shadow Nick. Good to see you. We're going to do a sunset here as well. Maybe one little mesquite tree. Actually, let's do that. Let's do a mesquite tree as well. There's our, uh, there's our sketch. Trunk might be a little big, but we can, we can adjust as needed. Let's get into this. What kind of sunset do we want? We want a big sunset? Fireball sunset? I want to do a fireball. Start with just a small corner of cad yellow right behind the tree. Okay, then we'll go into Indian yellow. And instead of just being on the corner, we're gonna get the whole brush, we'll get the whole brush dirty. because it is so strong. And then now we've got that. Just a little bit of blue, a little blue into the crimson. And we'll put that over here. There's our abstract painting of the week. Wipe this brush off so we can do some blending. A little bit of blending here. I want any blue on there really if we're gonna go back into the middle. Oh, we're out of paper towels. Okay. Might just get another brush, honestly. I don't want to risk it. You don't want to risk it on this yellow. So start in the yellow. Work around. Start with a 
moving up. Wipe the brush a little bit. Work up again. Let's add some big clouds though, because we got a big sky. And I'll do these the easy way. My two and a half inch brush, the way that I normally do them. Okay. Wait. Plate out there at the very end. And then uh, we can go up here. There we go. Just blend it out. The other side. Just something over there on the right, because we're going to put a tree over here. Okay, and let's do fireball. Let's put this one in. Sunset, actual sunset. I just push in, twist. bottom with the palette knife like this and some more yellow here just around the sides probably thinking I'm crazy no I'm not crazy and then we blend that yellow across the sun like it's kind of fading back into some haze. But we needed the paint around it, otherwise it wouldn't uh, blend it across evenly. There wasn't enough paint on there to do that. All right. So, there is the sky. Let's throw in some fields. Uh, two inch brush, one inch brush, fan brush. That was my life's decision. The toughest decision I have to make.
I'll use a two and a half inch brush because I want to cover a lot of space really quick. All right. Some sienna, maybe a little bit of green. Maybe a little bit of blue. Let's see, let's see if this works over here. That's not bad. Lighten this up, I know, a little bit. Lighten it up just by tapping on it a few more times. It'll just be a little bit more fuzzy. Fuzzy there in the background. And then down here, I just need a thin, a thin color. little flowers here. But I don't want a lot of color. Okay. Let's see if we can take any of that off. Let's take it. There we go. Oh yeah, took a bunch of stuff off there. Oh whoops. Scraped that with my finger now. go. Oh, do I want to do the barn first? The barn, tree, bull. Or tree, barn, bull. Tree, barn, bull, barn, bull, tree. Barn, tree, bull, barn. Tree, bull, barn. Let's do that. Let's put the tree in the background. You can use a fan brush for this. Big green, a lot of blue. We're just gonna make a fuzzy impression of a tree. Not very detailed at all. It's just gonna be over here hanging out. This is where the uh, this is where the bowl is gonna hang out. There's our tree. Probably should have put some flowers back in there first, but we can do that later. Those can be in the front. Unless, yeah, we probably want to do some of them first, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, composition and whatnot. I don't even know if 
if you'll be able to see this. It's probably not wide enough. doesn't matter as much so I'm going to darken that a ton. So it is a sunset after all. Okay. Straighten up this side of the tree again because we got some of the blue on there. And maybe there's a little bit of a hint of a branch here or there. You can't really see it with that, but. All right, let's use, I'll use another fan brush for this. Uh, I need a thin color. I like a bright orange, peach, Indian yellow and white. You know, okay. Just what I wanted. There's some spots here in the middle, up around these edges on the sides here, some in the middle. Again, up there. Some down there, mostly on this side. Definitely on that other side of the tree over here. There we go. Nice little highlighted tree. Happy tree. He doesn't get another tree friend though, but he'll have a bull friend. Just cleaning off these fan brushes in case I need them later, because I only got two. Okay, it's barn time. Let's get the barn out here. Gonna need a palette knife. Gonna need lots of brown. Yeah, a dream. All right. Too big, but we can fix it. Yeah, right there's good. Okay. Just scrape it out. Mostly ivory black and a little bit of burnt sienna. This will be the base, base boards color for back here. Side here. Okay, then we gotta do this little Eve over here. Oops, went a little too high. That's okay. I'm gonna take just a little bit of this off because I don't want it that dark, that black of a color. 
Okay. Now on this other side. What do I want to do up there? I think just seeing out on that side is okay. a bunch. Okay, pull down gently. Do the same over here and right there. One more. A little bit more right here. Let's come up on this. Eve. Okay, now I can just do this back side. This will be a little bit darker, so I'll go over it a couple times. Make it real dark. Okay. There's the back side of the barn. And now we're going to do the hard thing, which is putting the Texas state flag on this side of the roof. It's going to be tricky. I don't know how, how well it's going to go, but we'll see. Step one is just going to be to take off this corner, so I don't want to deal with that. And all of this stuff in here, I don't want any of this. You can take paint off. That's a. It's not. It's not a penalty if you have to take paint off. That's okay. What does the Texas state flag look like? Big blue star. Maybe I should paint this in first. Let's do that first. Big old blue. Halo blue. Maybe some of this white. Okay, so far, not so bad. All right, pulling that white, or <laughs> blue down. All right, we got the, mm, it's a little crooked there at the bottom. Let's fix that up. There we go. There's our blue. Make sure we get down there. I'm making this with the fan or the flat brush because I need to draw a star on there. If I do this with the palette knife, it's going to be way too thick. So we we'll start with the a thin blue, and then we can add on top. Technically, I could just do the rest with a flat brush as well. I don't know. Let's see, it's gonna be. Uh, I don't. Should clean my brush first, so I don't want. I don't want a purple here. We need a red, and then we need a white. So we can use crimson or we can use naphthol red. I don't really know. Maybe we'll use a little bit of both. It needs to be a slightly bright red, but not 
naphthol red. A little bit more. These are both very strong anyway, so. All right, is this on the top or on the bottom? I need a picture. Bottom, okay. The bottom here is black or <laughs> red. All right, actually my horizon line there is not so far off from where I need to do this. I'm just going to tap it here. Hopefully you can see that and it's not too dark. Okay, there's our red. I just need a little white there at the top. And then a little star. And that part I probably could have done with a palette knife, but oh well. side here. Keep pulling on that. Up around the top. Uh, something like this. That's a huge blob of paint that we probably shouldn't have done. Oh well. I guess it works out just fine. Now I'm just kind of straightening stuff out. I gotta fix that bottom part there. For sure. Okay. Oh no, we pulled the blue in. Knew it was going to happen. All right. At least we got the base in. I might just use the palette knife for the top. Say that, and I'm instantly ruined. Yeah. Mm. One more try. One more try. do the star. Probably could have used some more blue in this just because it's a little bright, but that's fine. Should I use a fan brush? Or not a fan brush. Filbert. Let's use a script liner for this. Script liner. Thin white. We 
you something that looks like a star here. But it's from a weird angle, so. I haven't drawn one of these since I was in, uh, I took a drafting class in high school. And they had, one of the things was drawing uh, aircraft insignia. It's like a, a USA stripes and in the middle of that was a star for the Air Force. That's the last time I drew something like this from this angle. I think we just connect these. But we gotta make it, we gotta do it fast, otherwise it looks like a evil, evil mark, devil mark or whatever. <laughs> Let's fill that in. Here we go. <laughs> Don't want none of that. Oh no. I'm getting the blue in there. I think I need more, uh, some more magic white. Or thin white, sorry. Not magic white. I keep saying that. I guess this isn't too bad if it's slightly blue. Doesn't have to be perfectly white. You know? Maybe a little bit more up there. Okay. There we go. There's a little little star. Texas star. there. I got to add a, a door to get in the barn, obviously. <laughs> Can't have a big old barn like this and no door. That's just silly. So we'll put a big, big barn door over here. Start throwing in the grass with the blue bonnets in it, and then it should be done. Oh, we gotta add the bowl, of course. There is a bowl in this one. How do we wanna do this? I mean, the bowl I can put like right up here, so it'd be okay. Let's use some dark green first. inch brushes are all used up. Let's use all right, we need some blue. We need some blue and some white. We need a lot 
Mal machen wir hier. Alright, let's see if this sticks out. A little bit, not too bad. You can probably do this with the, uh, what is it, script liner if you really wanted to. It's just a little bit faster if I do it with this side of the fan brush. All right, we're going to do just a few, not too many of these. We'll have a path here. Up in front, so Longhorns will be over here. That was a little too too aggressive there. Too aggressive of a tap. out where the longhorn is anyway so let's do that let's just scrape out where the longhorn's gonna go not worry about the layout in general scrape it out one more time but before that I might actually Scrape in some stems of the flowers. Let's just do his head, his head and his back. So first we gotta remove paint. It's gotta be really tight, otherwise I'm gonna smear it everywhere. We gotta roll this up. Not get this blue paint all over my hands like I just did. My bad. Okay, let's retry. With the fresh towel. Tight, tightly rolled. There we go. Back. We need a long horn here. That's a gigantic horn, but we can patch it up. Okay. Yeah. You can kind of see it. Maybe sorta. Of. I'm using my small filbert now. All right, let's just block in this color here. Here's one part. Goes into his head. Got a big old face. Kind of like a diamond shaped head. Goes into his other horn. down here goes back there okay <laughs> there's a rough outline of them throw in 
some sienna there on his back. So a little brown. A little bit of brown. And on his head, a little bit of brown. Won't be able to see any of this until I start highlighting, but some on his neck. Okay. And then we just start highlighting the uh, horns. I'll do the horns first, probably. Start over here. Swoop in. Do this one. That one's already kind of naturally highlighted there. But. Okay, here's that. Then we'll start building out his head. strokes lighten up around there and he's got a little nose a little nose right here and he's gonna have a little eye over here and one right there maybe not so much making him look like an alien <laughs> that's okay looks more like a deer Oh well. Maybe I'll make his nose a little bigger. I don't like how small his nose was. Oh, there we go. And we'll do the back. Back side of the little bowl. Wipe that out. Let's start. Give him a shoulder of shorts. Most of this don't matter though, because he's uh, he's back there in the shadows. You can't see him. Big old shoulder. There we go. He's just peeking out. Peeking out there. All right. And what do we got? What else would we need on this one? I think that's it. Unless we want to add some more foreground flowers. Love how the sky turned out. Thanks, Kenneth. Oh, we wanted to add a little path here. I forgot. That's easy. Path from the barn. Just brush left and right, kind of smooth it out first. And we'll use some of that sienna barn side color, a little bit more white in there. And then do a little swoop. There we go. <laughs> How's that? Not terrible. All right. I think that's good enough. Flag was fun to paint on the side of the barn. Alright. Should we add anything? Other than the signature? <laughs> I think this is good enough. But always up to change things. If anyone has a Hail Mary at the end. Here's our Texas one. Thanks, Paul, for the suggestion. But 
much appreciated. If anybody has suggestions for the last few states, I mean, we're almost done with them, so. But, yeah, there we go. There's Texas. Tejas. <laughs> Got the flag on the barn. Pretty cool. Nice little longhorn over there, hanging out.